concept of it is solar cooker so cooker which is used to prepare the foods how the foods will be prepared in the cooker in the sense heating the things heating the grains or the crops in the cooker we can cook or boil the things so the cooker is used so normally what kind of energy is used in this is thermal energy so thermal energy requirement is very much required for the cooking purpose but in city side the thermal energy how the thermal energy is used in the sense it kind of some induction stove are used for cooking purpose induction stove or some kind of gas if you go to the rural side or in the village side like kerosene wood coal or some kind of petrol oil can be used sometimes that cow dung is there cow is there no cow waste that is called as dung cakes the dung cakes or agriculture waste are also used to heat the uh some kind of heat that particular heat also used for preparing the food so fossil fuel is the fast depleting resources and need to be conserved for the firewood for cooking purpose so we can go with the cause of deforestation and cow dung agriculture also for the this kind of uh, cookers so here the solar cooking is nothing but a technology which will be given lot of attention nowadays we are giving in the recent years for developing countries the basic design of that is nothing but the box with color box is covered with the glass cover there are two types or may various types are there various types of the cookers are there those cookers are harnessing the solar energy for cooking purpose one is a box type cooker second one is a dish type cooker community solar cooker and advanced solar cooker box type in the sense this is the box type cooker so it is a box it's a simple construction and operation an insulated box which is blackened aluminum is contained in the utensils with the food material the box receives the radiation from the sun and reflected from the reflecting mirror which is kept inside the box the angle of reflection can be adjusted the glass is covered with two layers one is a reflecting mirror another one is a glass cover the glass cover traps the heat and maximum temperature is obtained in this box so the box is lined with insulation and reflective surfaces it's like a pot the pot will be kept over the box and the cooker will be kept over the box the pots are painted with the black material in order to absorb the heat so solar radiation raises the temperature sufficient to to boil the contents which is inside the pots so cooking time in the sense noon time it is very high but during sunset and sun rising time it is very low when compared to the conventional cooking system or conventional stoves here also there is there is no need of fuel it is a cost economical eco friendly it will not pollute anything else in the environment so people use the solar cookers or primarily to cook the food and pasteurizing the water and uh, numerous factors are access to the materials one is access to the material availability of the traditional cooking fuels climate food preference cultural factors technical capabilities everything we have to concentrate while you are going for the solar water heating system any simple solar cookers 
use this principle what are the principle in the sense first principle is concentrating the sunlight so there is a reflective mirror is placed in the polished glass so the metal is a uh, metal film is used to attract the sunlight and the light is converted to heat for to this cooking area as like induction stove the center part only the heated similar way the part has to be kept where that light energy is converted to heat energy in the particular smaller area and the more energy is concentrated to increase the heating power second one is converting light to heat that means the reflectivity surface is used in the food container inside the solar cooker in order to convert the light energy which is falls onto the cooker is converted into heat energy and third one is a trapping heat trapping heat in the sense it is important to reduce the convection by isolation the air inside the cooking from the air outside the cooker so there is a plastic bag tightly sealed glass cover will be used in order to reach the similar temperature on cold or windy days also greenhouse effect also be, will be given the glass transmits the visible light but blocks the infrared thermal radiation from escaping so this amplifies the heating trapping effect and also sometimes the aluminium foil also used along with the glass material for effective solar cooking device so one more type is a parabolic dish type material is used here so all the sun rays will be collected by this parabolic dish and there is a pot will be kept over the dish the pot is painted with the black color so it will receive all the heat energy and converts the light energy into heat energy and the pot inside the food will be boiled or cooked so types of solar cookers what are the types of solar cookers in the sense we have a solar cooking boxes insulated box covers reflector cookers where the reflecting materials are used for lighting concentrating the light and conversion of heat parabolic cookers which requires more precisions solar steam and convection cookers for vapor or hot air transfer medium heat storage solar cookers are also overcome this uh, most important disadvantage of the solar cooking system the pins they allow cooking after sunset and even in the morning they collect the solar energy with a high efficiency plate and that will be stored in the heat storage block whenever we are using the cooker that heat storage is used for boiling the material which is inside the cooker that is nothing but heat storage solar cookers but these cookers that heat storage backup system heat backup system no thermal storage system that is very bulky one and it is very heavy and it is complex in construction also it is more expensive advantages in the sense it saves the fuel wood and the chemical fuel cost cooking with solar energy is very clean healthy and reduce the health problem issues there is no kitchen smoke and solar cooking enables the individual families to do without any commercial fuels money can be saved we have no need to wait for until the gas man will come and serve for the new cylinder no need to wait for the electricity for the induction stove no need to depends for depend on the fossil fuels like uh, uh, kerosene or some kind of oil and food is cooked in the box type solar cookers cannot burn and does not have uh, cannot to be steamed or watched we cannot able to monitor the what is inside and we cannot no need to stir it the food cooked in the box type solar cookers is gently we can 
cook it and more nutrients will be there because sun is sun heat solar radiation no so we are getting very good energy disadvantages in the sense the solar cooking requires good weather need of sunshine daily if it is windy time or raining time or it may be a night time or cloudy time then it is a difficult process for cooking and this solar cooking cannot completely replace with the conventional system solar cooking is only possible during the day time most of the solar cookers requires individual manufacturing components some solar cooking box do not attain high temperature it requires long time of cooking boiling roasting grilling requires high temperature some reflector type solar cookers demands uh, understanding of skill and most attention will be provided when handling the cooking process the person doing the cooking has to stay out from the sun to avoid the risk of being dazzled or burnt generally the families need a solar cookers mostly cannot afford of them